the little wieners, as I like to call them, are going out to the pasture for the first time. So if you watch the first video, we weaned our three foals this year three days ago. So we separated them from their mothers. They have to be big kids now. They got to all hang out together. And for the first day, we left them in their stall, just kind of watched them. We gave them ulcer meds, made sure they weren't stressing too much. Yesterday, we started putting them out in here so that we could clean their stall. And then they've been out here all morning. I figured putting them out in their little run first might help them get their zoomies out before putting them out into the pasture. But I have a feeling there's still gonna be some zoomies. Um, we like to wait a few days before we put them out into the big pasture just because it, it, it's very unpredictable with weaning. They could seem fine and then all of a sudden they hear their mama whinny and they run through a fence to get to her. So we're hoping that doesn't happen this morning, but they gotta get big. Oh goodness, they gotta be big kids sometime. So he's a little bit of the crybaby. You do cry. Look at the cuts on him though, where they've been beating him up. I hate to say it. This one needed to be beat up. He was the one that didn't get to go out with them because of his mama's injury. And so he had no respect for her, no respect for anyone. So I'm actually kind of okay with them teaching him a little lesson. beating him up a little bit. Gotta happen. It had to happen at some point. Penelope has not been phased. Mm -hmm. Penelope's like, well, had to happen. Here's another thing. So we wean with the farmer's almanac. Like, I don't know that we've not weaned with the farmer's almanac for years and years because it just works. I don't know why it works, but there's like two dates per month that is like best days for weaning. And you can just Google it and it tells you, hey, for this month and this year, this is the best day for weaning. And so I always do that. My parents did it before me. Do I guess you don't do it always with the cows, but with the horses. It works it, with the cows, but we don't always have the time but with the horses I try to plan around it because it truly makes a difference I had someone on Facebook tell me or that made a post about how they weaned yesterday which is a few days after they were supposed to with the farmers on that and they were like I've, I've never had a baby this hard to wean this thing you know is trying to hurt itself it's throwing itself against the walls it's and I, I message I said I said it may not work but if I were you, because she put it back with its mama, she was like, I had to go put it back with his mama because he was being nuts. I was like, I would wait till October 2nd. That's the next date. So, and everyone in the comments underneath me was like, I've always weaned with the farmer's almanac and it always works. So, I mean, it's got a following and I'm one of them. Is this Petey's or Penelope's? Peter. We are not gonna run through this gate. Oh. Hey. Let's do halters on today, just, just in case. Hey. We do not always leave halters on. That's actually pretty dangerous to leave halters on while they're out. But since today's the first day and we'll be watching them, it's just easier in case of emergency. I'm waiting for one of them to get zapped. I feel like that's gonna be what starts the zoomies. So Finn does have a hernia. I know some of you are gonna catch that. 
Um, it's an umbilical hernia, and I think I, oh yeah, you're gonna get zapped. Um, I think I touched on it in the first video, but here in about a month, when it's cool, when he's very used to not having his mama around, we will take him to the vet clinic and have him both gelded and his hernia done all in one um, procedure. So make it easier on him, but that's what that little bump is right in front of his wee wee. They're getting farther away. I, I can tell you what, one of them is gonna get zapped. I just know it's gonna happen. Oh my gosh, Penelope, Bay. That lead change, they're all amazing. Where's Finn? There he is. Let's not do too many zoomies, everybody. Oh my goodness, Finn. Look at that flat front leg. Petey, you can run too. <laughs> All right, well those two have chilled out. They're like, okay, we know what this is about. It's eating time. Finn is still exploring a little bit. Okay, he said, what are y'all doing? Is this what we do? We just, we just eat and hang out? They're like, duh. Poor Finn doesn't know how to be a regular pasture horse because he didn't get to go out very often with his mama because his mama's injured. And so they went out in the dry lot most of the time and we'd take him out sometimes and let mama graze and him run around. But he d he's just not as used to it as the other two. Look at him. He said, okay, this is nice. Petey is gonna follow Penelope wherever she goes. Oh, oh, he said he wants to stay with his brother? all eating, they've all behaved. I need some wood to knock on right now, but this was such a successful little pasture privilege test. Okay, they're starting to uh, get a little more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Aw, Petey Zoomies are so sweet. That was his fast. No. All right, Missy, let me through. I mean, that was about as successful of a little pasture privilege test if I've ever seen one. Now, everything could change, so I'm not gonna like jinx it or anything, but right now, they all look like they're chill, they're eating, they're hanging out, and I couldn't have asked for anything better. They did have some zoomies, they were fun, but that's what the pasture's for. They need to be able to let loose and get some energy out, and they've been pent up for a few days, so it could have been so much worse. But I hope you all enjoyed that. If you wouldn't mind liking, subscribing, and commenting before you leave, those three things help my channel so much, and I'll see you in the next video.